Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Divinity Original Sin 2. Last episode we were here in the Path of Blood and yeah, and remember I'm missing some stuff. So uh, I said the last uh, episode that probably this will be the last one and this will be my last session of recording. But I don't know if it's going to be like one or two episodes, probably it's going to be two because we have some stuff. Remember this fight? I'm go I want to do it. But to do this fight obviously with Sir Laura it's not going to be super easy. So I'm going to cheese it, probably, <laughs> because it is not going to be easy. I, I don't think we have enough fights and quests to actually level up, but yeah, if we can level up, I will do it. Okay, mm, let me drop a save over here. Let me do this. Uh, what do I have there? Careful now, that's a trap. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I know I'm going to do uh, one of these blood storms. I just run away from here, I think. Yeah, where is it, Laura? Okay, Sir Laura is right there. Sir Laura is right there and he's going to stay there. Okay, this one is dead, this one is dead. Yeah, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over here. Yeah, and that will disengage the fight. They, they are not going to do anything else. No. Yeah, you're seeing, they are like pretty, pretty awful. Okay, let me drop a safe again. And let me do a rest. Look out! I see a trap nearby. No, 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 come here. And let's do another blood storm over here. Mm, right there. Can I grab you? Let me check. Hey, no. Yeah, yeah, I can grab you. Okay, let's do this. Okay, okay. It's going to hit him. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do the corpse explosion. Oh, it didn't hit him. Okay. Can I? Okay, this one is dead. Can I jump? No, I can jump. I can jump. I can jump. If I jump, uh, Sir Laura will. Kill himself. So let me kill you. Okay. And let's drop a safe over here. Okay, I, I can I can Yeah I can destroy this one here if I do again this bloodstorm. Yeah it's a little bit cheesy but, but I don't know the game doesn't allow you to manage it Laura and it should be like that. You should be able to manage it. Okay. Mm, right there. Can I kill you? No. Okay, yeah, can I do this? No. I, I can take out this with, with the other skills, but no, I'm not seeing that. It's going to be useful, so I will leave it that way. I know I can grab some, some stuff here, but I don't need anything. <laughs> I just want to kill him. Hey, come here, come here, Zildar. Don't go there. No, 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 don't go there. Shoes. Yeah, yeah don't go there. Big green cap, okay, yeah, and we already defeat this guy. Hermit hideaway. Okay, mm, what else do we got? A barracks, no. We already did everything to the sewers. Okay, let's go to the uh, school. Uh, let me check what else do we have. It's our consulate, we already did that. Kim Mansion, uh, Kim Gardens, we already did that. The Toys Alert, just believe it, just did. Alchemy Shop, okay, we, we are done. We're only missing the, the school. So let's go to the school. Uh, let's check what they have there, and then we will go to the last mission. The last mission normally takes like an hour and a half or something like that, so probably we will do that after this. After we come here and check the school. Yeah, you need to choose that fight because the Lord doesn't survive, and I'm pretty sad that he doesn't survive. The Paladin Protector. I took I took out the helmet because the helmet looked like I have a probably like. I don't know, like a topper war in my head <laughs> or something like that. This is pretty awful. Okay, what do I hear? Man, this school is, is pretty bad. This place is already overrun with addicts and orphans, and now I've got to deal with. What? A candied salamander? Oh, don't be respectful. The woman shakes her head and sighs. I should stop caring so much, but the kids shouldn't suffer. They don't deserve this void-infested hellhole we're handing to them. Look around, what is this place exactly? What is it? 
Or what was it? Two different things, you know. Used to be a school. My husband Griff and I, we taught the local kids what we could. History, politics, writing, reading, a little cooking, a little alchemy. The parents paid what they could. It was enough. Then the Void Woken came and... And the magisters took Griff away to Fort Joy. Said he was luring the monsters in. Like my sweet Griff would ever do such a thing. Yeah, but Griff, well, Griff was the bandit, uh, the owner of the bandit camp. Like, let's call it like that way. Remember that he was uh, the one that deals all the the business there, and they, they, he would try to kill an elf because he is still from him. Now it's it's this. I'm stuck scrubbing Lady Kem's filthy floors in exchange for coin most days. And I don't have the energy to shoo away the junkies that wander in. Hey, Griff, so you came across him during your days in the joy? You know him? Is he... was he holding up okay? Uh, yeah, he was only there He looked after his fellow sorcerers. That sounds like Griff, all right. I'm telling you, if he were here, he'd have this place cleaned up in no time. If the squatters were gone, I could start fresh. Scour the place down, get the school going again. Get out yeah. from under Lady Kem's posh thumb. Okay, let's see what I can do. Well, I wouldn't refuse your help. If Griff can't be here, maybe you're the next best thing. Beryl hums a few random notes, just a few. But in those notes, you discern a crumb of hope. Okay, well, let's, let's give it a try. You're seeing, yeah, you can... Mm, come here. Let's look the pick lock. The clock ticks to our final breath, twinkle box. But Lucian makes oh, the hours wide. Well, school's out, I dare say. <laughs> Follow yeah, not the bad. cat man. His words are hot and black. He shims around the blood. So we have a Drudane fin. My good, wonderful, exquisite lizard. You're all the cultured sort. Do you bring Drudene? Yes? Uh, motion, the plants and pipes are scattered about. Is there no plenty already? Yeah, but I'm so comfortable. See? He stretches out his arms and legs, yawning the entire while. He pats his bedroll and rests his head in the dimple left behind, then smiles at you. Indeed, he is most comfortable. Introduce yourself, what is his story? Ah, I hear enough stories. I see enough past. Every bite taken and memory gained means knowing a new atrocity. All past is past and stays in... Okay, get out here. And what do you have? Look over there, shiny light. Do you see them? The mist steps. Each one is an echo of Lucian's dreams. Pray be his. They lead through the silver puffs and into the hall. She bows towards nothing in particular and fingers the collar of her priestly garb, then looks at you with dark, sunken eyes. Hey, press your hand to her forehead, is she all right? I am blessed, Red Sunburst. I glide on Lucian's breath and feed on his sighs and smiles. For him, I would walk the path of blood. Yeah, you will. I'm that. not like the Cat Lord, a Hulu. He slinks around and under and over and inside. He would skim the path and miss the blood. The priest raises her head and screams to the ceiling. Lucian, my wings are ready. I will flap and flit flop when your words go blue. Okay. A Hulu does not deserve Get out your school. warm. Get out of the school. Shoo away the duped priest. She's not welcome here. She traces a circle on the floor with her left foot, then shakes her head. You're stymied by the foot gesture, but the head shake is more than clear. Tell her to open her eyes. This is a schoolhouse. There is no misters. She's just hallucinating. Yes. Yes. I hear the breeze, but I can't feel it on my hand skin. I must go and sleep. If Lucian wills it, he will wait. Okay. Let's cool out. And I can kick this guy. Drudene. Yeah. You could just... He's... Okay, get out here. All of you. Okay, now that they're done, let's go and talk to a lady. Yeah. Breaking of Alex. Feeling in school. School is for kids. So, how's the eviction going? 
Can we have the addicts are gone? Uh, no, that drop of blood was spilling the process. Is that... Wait, really? They're gone? Yeah. That's good news. Maybe our hard work wasn't all for nothing then. Is there anything I can do to show my thanks? No, nah, no problem. I she gives you a warm grin and hums a few random notes before catching herself and clearing her throat. Well, you've certainly been a breath of fresh air. You're no griff, but it's been good having you around. Okay, give me the... Okay, three intelligence, eleven strength. Three turns. Okay, give me the intelligence one. Yeah. Okay, the school is done. That's uh, the other stuff that you can do here in school. So school's quest is done and we are, we are done. So let's go to the path of... Uh, let me go check the vendors one last time. Uh, I will take you with me. Yeah, let's go. Let's go check the vendors and... Oh, you're here. Your Highness, good to see you. Of course. Told you I would, didn't uh, I? Where is more, more, more feathers? Sure thing. Okay, so I can I can craft how many scrolls? Uh, let me check. Uh, Grimoire... And I need fortified. No, I need teleportation. What is it? Shackles, teleportation scroll. How many I can craft? One. Okay, craft one. Yeah, I don't need like anything else. And I will, I will put everything that we are going to need in the next. Yeah, to uh, invisibility. We are going to need that. We come here and let's put these ones if we are going to need them. And. Let's put all the potions. I will, I will show you what I'm going to use for the last fight and stuff like that. So you can prepare also yourself if you want to. Uh, here should be my intelligence. No, 11 intelligence. Right there. A medium invisibility potion. Yeah, right here. I will, I will just manage it in a moment. Uh, no, what is my full resistance? Yeah, this one that give me 75% resistance to everything. And the other one that give me mm, immunity to everything. Yeah, this one. So you can come here. And anything else? No. Yeah, we should be okay. Oh, what is my weight potion? Yeah, right there. Okay, so yeah, it should be like this, this, and let's move the wits. The immunity. The fire, no telekinesis, invisible. That one should be like over here. And this one should be like over here with the other scrolls. Okay, this should this should be all that we need for the last fight. The rest, yeah. Work, you don't need that. So that, that that will be like the 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 stuff that we are going to use. Hey, let's go to Dark Queen. You have anything you for me? You truly savor my company, Godwoken. Something you wanted? Okay, we, we I'm going to check everything because you know what you can get. Uh, yeah, you're seeing that the stuff is not better than the stuff that I got. How many how many teleportation spells I have? I have six, Please and I have twelve invisibility potions. Uh, yeah, if this is not enough, nothing is going to be enough. <laughs> Never. Greetings. Have you come to join us in the endless prayer, or do you wish to walk the path of blood? Lucian's day wouldn't be the same without the faithful gathering to petition for his return. The more voices that join our cry, the better. Yeah, we're going to the path of blood. Ah, the path of blood is a, a more advanced form of pilgrimage. I would not advise it unless you believe yourself to be free from sin. And trust me, none are free from sin. The path of blood ends in death for those who attempt it. Consider yourself warned. The path of blood sounds dangerous. Who ask who created this trio? It was Lord Ahu's creation. He is the crypt's keeper, of course. He's that and oversaw the construction himself. He couldn't have done it without the help of Sanders, though. Quite a talent for engineering. Uh, the, the game bug and kill him. That's what happened, man. I can I can I couldn't do anything. Spends most of his time tinkering with toys nowadays. Such a pity. But that's the price you pay for genius, I suppose. No, no, no. He paid that price because he doesn't want to get killed. <laughs> he's a pretty intelligent man. Okay, go and kill yourself. Yeah, you can see, you can follow them. <laughs> yeah. You got fully blessed. Something closed the door. Okay, remember that we have the, the button. 
And I don't remember you have to have the color. A proper roll, they should put it. Uh, where is it? Yeah, let's, let's equip it. Yeah, I know, I know that you took one of my skills. Okay, let, let, let's push it the button. There's a curious looking panel discreetly nestled upon the wall. Upon it is a lone button. Take a closer look. There's a slot in the center of the button. It looks like something should be placed in it. Try to fit Toys Alexander amulet in the slot. The amulet fits the slot perfectly. The mechanisms around it begin to glow with source. Push the button. Nothing happens. So what I need to do is read the the scroll. Remember the scroll of of this guy? I very don't know where he where it is. It was in the books. So probably we need to read it. Uh, what is it? So I didn't pick the scroll. That was... he wasn't letting me. <laughs> really, man? Really? Okay, let's go again. Let's go and try again. Yeah, I was like like 10 minutes there trying to figure it out because I already... Yeah, I was like, what? Where is the scroll? I, I pushing the button and doing the stuff and... Nothing. Okay, let's go again. That was my bad. So what you need there, to do here... Switch. There's a curious looking panel discreetly nestled upon the wall. Upon it is a lone button. Produce a scroll of Ataman and read it loud. A long, empty moment ticks by. Something's not right. It's not working. Nothing happens. Okay, take a closer There's a look. slot in the center of the button. It looks like something should be placed in it. Okay, feed the... The amulet fits the slot perfectly. The mechanisms around it begin to glow with source. Okay, now produce a scroll of Ataman and read it loud. The button slowly sinks into the wall. As if pushed by an invisible hand. The source fades from the amulet, consumed by the inner mechanisms of the button. Gears turn behind the ancient walls, almost like they're acknowledging the words you spoke. A nearby hatch in the floor unseals itself. Okay, now it's, it's open. Yeah, that was pretty bad, that was pretty bad. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> it was my fault. Totally my fault. Okay. So we are here in the Path of Blood, and now we're going to start having all the trouble that you normally have. Okay, let's drop a save, and let me, yeah, let me do a clear main, because I'm seeing that we are going to have trouble here. And let's do a haste. And we have a waypoint here, I think. Yes. Okay. What happens if I move forward? Nothing. Okay. And we don't have anyone here. You recognize the approaching child. He is hardly a picture of innocence. His cheeks aren't rosy, but sallow. His smile isn't curious, but crooked. Yeah, remember the child that left a pot of blood all over the place in the basement, in the sewers? Surprise! You left a little boy to rot in a prison cage, and yet I made it here. What do you say to that, eh? Not what the cage... Say to that? Yeah, the cage has seen being inadequate. You have to kill him. <laughs> Attacking a child? That's dark. And very bad for your sense of self, that must be. So let me help you. I'm not actually uh, I a know. little boy. His voice changes, becomes deeper, rougher, older. Really, I'm not. Say hello to your mistake. I'm here. A smile unfolds upon his lips, but his eyes are gone. The light in them has turned black. Any time he may have had as a sane and functional human is well and truly over. Yes, my lord Lucian, I'm coming. I'll free you. I'll protect you. I'm coming, my lord. I'm okay, he is, he's crazy. So we have one, two, three. Where are they? Yeah, let's do... Yeah, let's do a big turn. Now let's kill the, like... We are doing one, two, three. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Let's do an apotheosis. Uh, let me do this. How much cover? Okay, you have a big cover over there. Uh, let me grab you. And put you right here. Beautiful. Uh, let's do this. Right now. <laughs> I could imagine that. So now 
You can do a mosquito. Oh, I can't. Yeah, let me do a haze on myself. Uh, let's do a camelon's cloak. And jump away from here. I don't know, probably here? Heart of Steel. Okay. That is not going to work a lot, but it's okay, you can do whatever you want. And now you're taking what, Sir Laura? Oh. Okay, so I'm out of cover. Really? Can, can, can I kill you? Thank you. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Now nah, you're dead. <laughs> 6,000. Okay, you have this board memory. Yeah, probably one of the best pros in the game. Technology vengeance. Now let's grab everything. Yeah, let me drop a save. It was an easy fight. We will talk to him. Urna the chamber. And here. Oh, you're empty. Okay. And Karen, what do you got? Eh, hey, no, no. Yeah, you got a couple of stuff that you lit right now. Even in death, the spirit of Karan, the great mistake, is lost in insanity. Lucian, I'm coming. I'm coming, Lucian, I'm coming, Lucian, Lucian, I'm Kay. coming. Look coming. to his past. The spiritual union is sudden. It sounds and feels as if you have fallen to the sand chest first from the coast's tallest cliff. You gasp, and you open your eyes. You bow to Alexander, as Gareth has said you must. You rise, and the bishop's scepter points directly at you. Show me. He is the master. You are the obedient hound. And he wants to see your tricks. Yeah, bless him. This is not the time to release your rancor. Alexander's cloak and coronet shine radiantly upon being blessed. His face, however, is numb. He waves you off without a word. He doesn't see your fists tighten. He doesn't see your jaw clench. He doesn't know that next time will be different. Your soul rejoins your body with the same force with which it left. The spirit of Karan looks at you. For once, his gaze is crystal clear. A race search for remorse. You find instead an ocean of rage, storm-torn and heavy, with great black waves battering the shores of his conscious mind. At the bottom of this angry sea, you find the dark silt of regret. Caron wishes he could have been more than he was. He wishes he could have been the creator. But he was the destroyer, and he embraced destruction, fearing he could be nothing more. And there, beneath the regret, lies the kernel of fear from which all of this rage flowed. Fear that he could not be better. Fear that what he was, was all that he could be. Fear of his own potential greatness. Show him how to steal the raging waters of his anger. Show him the tide receding to reveal the fear beneath. Karan blinks once, twice. Then, the ocean of anger evaporates. The nugget of fear appears in the palm of his hand. He stares at it, turns it this way and that. Then he closes his hand over it and squeezes. When he opens it again, his hand is empty. He smiles at you, lays his hand upon your breast and gives you a gift, one soul to another, to enhance your talents as you see fit. Then he leaves for the halls. What did you get me? Oh, he gave me a point or something. Uh, oh, oh, really? Okay, let's grab Hothead. Yeah, where you're in maximum vitality, Hothead grants you extra 10% critical. <laughs> Give me that. So I have 92. Yeah. I have 100% critical right now. Yeah. Now let's finish exploring the place. That was a pretty good one. I didn't know that he gives that skill point. Yeah, normally when I come here, I already have killed him. So it's pretty good. You already know. Okay, let's continue. What do I hear? No sign of Lucian's body. Lizard skeleton. Has Dallas beaten us here? And two human skeletons. Okay, and uh, right there. Okay, hey, this is a puzzle, and we are going to do it. Obviously, you're going to hear me because I don't know 
what is how to do it perfectly, so probably I will do some cuts and stuff. Let's go. The blessed altar seems to want to be touched. I lay the hand upon the stone. The altar seems to respond. Beyond it, something creaks, as if the pipework was moving. The sound comes from beyond the altar, but also. Okay, what are we going to do? A blessed stone altar. In the space beyond the altar. Okay, let's give it a try. So you need to put blood here. And the blood goes over there and you need to bless it if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so let me let me take out my Yeah the freaking spell I always take out. <laughs> yeah, jump in there and let's put bless. And let's see how it goes. A blessed stone. Lay altar. the hand upon the your stone. The altar seems to respond. Okay. So let, let's see how it goes. Now where I'm mistaken. Okay. Yeah. This one goes fine. It's going fine. And this one. This one is the one that was worrying me. Okay, you're right there, you're right there. Yeah, we'll put a fast camera on that. Perfect. I got the three of them, okay. Yeah, we'll put a fast camera so you can see how to, how to do it. Uh, I wasn't talking and stuff, so... It will probably bother you. Uh, and put my jump in. Okay, let's go there. This was the easy one, yeah. The, the stuff that comes right now is the painful one. <laughs> I don't want to say complicated, but it's the painful one. Remember the words of power. That's what we are looking for. Yeah, and the game is saving. You know what it means. Venture no farther. Only death lies beyond. Blood need not be spilled. Bones need not be broken. Preserve thyself and flee. To cross this threshold is to plunge into thy grave. Do not decide in haste. Demand the passage. Very well. Embrace thy fate. Yeah, okay, let's put a haste. Uh, a rest buff and let's go. And then let's do this. And let's get inside. Careful. I've spotted a trap. Okay. So you have four enemies here and you have to destroy them. Yeah, the best way to do it is just destroy the magical. They, they are immortal. Hurts, doesn't it? But you can take them out with sword bunkers. So you have one of them. Okay, and let me come here. Okay, let me do this. Let me come here. Let's do a... This one to destroy your armor. Immune to water damage. Really? Can I, can I kill you? Okay, let's give me a haste. What are you doing? 
And another one pop out. Moving to Arvius Manipulator. No, no, no. We will, we will have to chase them and do sword by Paris every time we can. Stop doing that. Okay, they want to stay there. Yeah, I have no problem. I have no problem. Another one. How many more could there be? Yeah, whatever, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Stop complaining. Let's do a skin grab. Okay. Yeah, let's do a fireball on you. Immune to fire damage. Okay, can I do a global cooling? Okay. And now let's do a sword bump prince again. Sleepy time. Beautiful. Okay. Another one. How many more could there be? Hey, I already kill a couple of you, man. Yeah, let's just kill him, kill him. Let's do this. Okay, and then your turn. Let's do this and a haste. Moving to rapid descent cranial disruptor. Yeah, I already saw Bam Prince two of them, so. That one is immune to fire. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's wait, let's wait. If they are coming, yeah, I will just need to wait. Okay, what do you have? A permanent. Maximum physical armor. And you are... Okay, I can, I can take you out with fire. I have fire? No, but I have the blue ball for me. Okay, let's get it, right? Uh, yeah, global cooling. Six hundred. So let's do a skin graph again. And give me this. I'm ready. And again, another global cooling. Okay. Uh, let's hit it him. They just keep coming. Look around. There's got to be a way to make them stop. Yeah. yeah. Come. Uh, yeah, we are getting it. We are getting them. I'm missing only one. I'm seeing that the only ones are not responding, so that, that's the way to do, do with them. Uh, you need to take. Yeah, I, I don't like that the game forced you to do this, but I'm, what I'm doing. But it's okay. I'm ready. Okay. Your. And I have. Oh, I don't have. But I have a skin wrap. Okay. Let's do skin wrap. And let me hit you. Or it should be done. Bedtime. Yeah, let's do a... Be safe. Anyone is going to come? No. So that's a way to deal with the puppets. If you're having trouble with them, you just take them and their armor out and... Their magic armor. If you do the physical, it doesn't work. So power uh, is the word that we need to spell here, and it's going to be like this. It's going to be potency here, and then we are looking for a order. I don't remember where it is. Order here. It feels like that lever did something. Uh, he then we go to right shift. Uh, uh, no, to Careful. wisdom. I've spotted a trap. Something happened. Yeah, and then to empathy. Careful now. That's a trap. Knowledge, empathy, and then righteousness. I heard gears moving. And then righteousness. Where is righteousness? The fitness order should be here. And righteousness. Something happened. And you're done. <laughs> Must have been the last lead. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been trying some other uh, ways to do it. You can do it with this. You can go invisible, kill a couple of them, go invisible, and they won't trigger. They won't trigger, and you can go invisible and do the power in the order that I told you. But it's just spelling the word power. Okay, and this is the last fight. So people, let's go and finish the game. It is time. Okay, whoa, come here. Yeah, give me saving. 
The truth hangs heavy upon the air itself, unspoken. This is the point of no return. Somewhere beyond this point, you shall be undone, or you shall ascend. There is no middle ground. Okay, ready for this? Step into your destiny. So I will teach you some stuff for this fight, and you can do whatever you want. Come, come, Quirkus. Time is short. Okay, let's talk to Sir Laura. My goodness, here we are, Quirkus. This is it. What do you mean, Quirkus? Of course I'm prepared. I have my noble steed below me and my trusted shield beside me. What more could I need? His whiskers crack into a mischievous smile. And I may have cracked the spell that will stop the great acorn in its furious tracks, if that's what you mean. That's right, Quirkus. We've done it! Sir Laura turns to you, his beady eyes shining with pride. I owe you an apology. No, don't worry, man. At the start of our journey, I wouldn't have believed a lizard would lead me to the discovery that would save us all. But I see now that my prejudice was foolish. Without you, Quirkus and I might still be stuck on that abominable prison island. Now here I am. Here we are. On the brink of saving the world. Tell him you're impressed, he cracked the spell. Shouldn't he use it now? Indeed. Quirkus and I will find an advantageous location and do just that. Meanwhile, you must prevent the servants of the Acorn from interrupting us. Solora takes a slow, deep breath and lets it out in a rush. You feel it, don't you? It's so still, but there's something behind it too, like a thunderclap waiting to fall. The great acorn is nearly here. Its servants are poised for impact. We've known this moment would come. Now it is time to put my research to the test. I am ready. Quirkus is ready. And you, shield? Okay, it is time. So Laura nods in return and grabs your pinky with his tiny paw. Yeah. He gives it a decisive shake. Then salutes. No matter what happens next, Shield, there's something Quercus and I want you to know. It has been an honor. The same, man. The same. Now, onward. Onward. Okay, so he, he's not going to be a game more with me. Oh, please. Oh. Yeah, and everyone is here. You come here often. I don't know what you did, but you just released a source blood. I thought I'd come and see what all the fuss was about. Should have known you were getting yourself into trouble. Looks like the big moment has finally arrived. I will do everything I can to support you, Godwoken. I will pray for you. Okay, respond with gratitude. It. The prayer will spine and string you. Don't underestimate the power of true prayer. This is a place of incredible power where a single prayer holds the weight of thousands. Your heart and soul will fill as quickly as they're drained. Consider it a taste of your divine future. The people will pray for you. In turn, they'll trust you to do right by them, as I'm trusting you to do now. Of course, it's up to you whether or not to listen. I know how I'd respond, but you do you. Malady wearily chuckles to herself, then bows her head in a show of unexpected but sincere reverence. Looks like my investments paid off after all. I need worship, only one divine, and I believe he stands before me now. You've shown me kindness in the face of my sins. My worship is the least I can offer. I've always preferred to be the one reaping the attention, but you've turned the tables. I suppose it's only right, seeing as how a new divinity may stand before me. Now go. Rivalon needs a new divine. Okay, and they're going to pop me. It's because minus three. <laughs> yeah, obviously this is not going to last forever. So let me explain a little bit this fight. This fight, uh, we will we will see the the first cinematic, and then I will explain what to do. And you can do a lot of stuff here, but yeah, if you don't want any spoilers, obviously you shouldn't watch it, <laughs> because it will be like full of spoilers. What I'm going to tell you, full of spoilers, like crazy, crazy full of spoilers. Okay. So for the first thing, uh, come here and let's put a couple blood over there. And there you're seeing. Yeah, there is the breeding man that is Bracurex. 8,000 armor, that is nothing. But he has 13,000. Uh, 
yeah so so you, you need to be careful with him uh, let's do a skin grab over here yeah the, you trigger the fight over here so be careful over there I'm trying not to trigger the fight okay and you can see who they are here white magisters uh, Dali is the hammer the gaze and Lucian the divine Lucian is alive <laughs> Lucian is alive that's crazy but yeah so wh what you need to do is buff yourself and get inside the fight. I want to explain some stuff. Okay, let's get inside. Prince, Godwoken. Dallas told me about you. You must be as hard as diamonds and twice as bright to have come so far. Your divine welcomes you. The divine you thought dead lords over the chamber from a granite throne. He moves to speak, but it's Reedman's voice that next pierces the air. Yeah, so here's the problem right now. What a twist. Lucian frowns at Reedman, then bestows a benevolent smile upon you. All that you know of him flashes across the panorama of your mind. I underestimated you, Godwoken. You have proven to be a formidable foe. You have my respect. I don't care about that boy. Respect? Indeed. Lucian's gaze rests upon you and goes through you. He takes your measure entirely. Lucian, we should tell him the truth. Yes, I agree. It is time we dropped our masks. Okay, t tell me why you're being slain all people and why you're being like uh, manipulating everyone and doing all the bad stuff that you have done. Dallas nods, then reaches for the sides of her head. Where there was one face, suddenly there are four. She takes off the mask of the shapeshifter. Yeah, she's probably on that. A skull is revealed, bejeweled and ancient as the void. I am eternal. Aren't they just full of surprises? Yeah, this clarified very little, demand an explanation. Fear not, God Logan. Dallas is on the side of all that is good. She is helping me rid Rivalon of the influence of the source. Listen to her. I shall tell you the tale as I told it to Lucian. Long ago, the scholar Fane discovered that the veil between the world and the void was made of source. Our seven lords desired this power. There are already six because I already killed the sources. Of course. Silence, slave. Our king forbade the seven to reach for this power, but they didn't listen. Instead, they rebelled and sent the king and his people into the void. With the source they stole from the veil, the seven created the races so they would have worshippers. Yeah, yeah, that's why the Seven Lords will have needed worshippers. During their lives, worshippers collect source. When they die, the gods feed from them. It's an ingenious system. Mm -hmm. Our souls are nothing but vats for the source-hungry gods. The Seven made a mistake. By taking its source, they tore a hole in the veil, and it is through this hole that the Void finds its way into our world. The Seven's lust for power let in the Void. Our goal is to close the hole they created, to restore the Source to the Veil. When we are done, there shall be no more Source in the world. Rivalon will be finally free from the gods that enslave them. Yeah, what are your motives? Does he truly seek the greater good? He hesitates, then he swallows his pride. Here is the truth. I have killed thousands, perhaps millions, for the greater good. No, no, no. But I made a mistake. It was my use of death fog that opened the door to the God King. It upset the veil and took the seven by surprise. Okay, so you kill millions and it's your fault that the God King is here. My one mistake meant all those sacrifices were for naught. Those sacrifices must have meaning. They must stop the void once and for all. Express your confusion. Will not closing the whole doom Dallas King and people to end this void? My people cannot be allowed to return from the void. They are tarnished. They are void woken. They can only bring chaos and death and... There is more, but she hesitates to share it. Then she decides that she must. I was a child when the God King tore my family apart. 
I was purged of sores and left to rot in a putrid tomb. A child. Yeah, and you have to kill a lot of people because you were a child in that moment. Because she kills people like all over the place. It was hell. A hell I suffered for the sins of my father. He was the one that betrayed the God King. He was the one that told the Seven the secrets of the Veil. She is the daughter of fame. The cruel joke of it all is that the same tomb that housed my tortured body is what sheltered me from the void. Few Eternals escaped that fate. Myself, my mother, and my father, the, the scholar, scholar Fane. But Fane is not a bad guy, no in total, no in total. But what she did, yeah, Fane, you're seeing Fane killing people all over the place, like, no, I went to the experiment, but she killed a lot of people. But now I finally have revenge. Okay. Revenge on the Seven and the God King. Revenge for what they took from me. My life. My people. My mother. Nah, that's not just justification. The hammer's voice falters and her coolness vanishes. Every crack and rasp betrays her grief, but her next words burn not with sadness, but anger. He never even looked for me. He never even looked for her. Yeah, she's super angry with Fane, but that doesn't give you a reason. Dallas, control yourself. Our purpose transcends your personal wounds. No, no, no. She's doing it for revenge. Yes. You. You are right. Dallas's reasons weren't mine to question. All that ever mattered to me was peace. Peace for Rivalon. Peace for me. Whatever the means. And now, we are on the precipice. Yeah, Lucian want peace? Ask how their brutal actions were meant to achieve peace. He killed everyone in the library. While Dallas sought the Aetiran, I started draining the gods of their source. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Okay, yeah, he's starting to rebel. Remember that everyone says that he won't be they won't be able to control him. One more word from you, and I shall use the leash. I had to hide from the gods. So I had the walls of this crypt equipped with tenebrium and protections put in place. It worked. Everyone, even the gods thought me dead. As divine, I was created, empowered to stop the void. I was the avatar of the Seven, their strength and their weakness. My bond to them allowed me to drain them of their source. Address Bidram, it breed the man directly. He is the source king slave and his name is Braco Rex. Maggot, I am no slave. With a flick of her wrist, Dally sends a jolt through Bracus's body. He writhes in pain. Don't worry, he's well under control. He has made a fine servant. Isn't that right? Ingrate. I used him to find the Eteran. When we're done, I'll release him from his duty and free him from his pain. Until then. Dallas punctuates her statement with another wrist flip. Bracus shudders. But his lips remain curled in a self-satisfied grimace. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Yeah, suggest the stealing the sword of the seven weakened the gods and allow the void walking to appear. Yes, in a sense. When the death fog was unleashed, many elves died. With fewer elves to worship him, Tears and Dilius weakened. This gave the god king his first real foothold back in the world. To strengthen himself, he sent his void woken. The remnants of my people to hunt down the sorcerers seeking to reclaim their source. The Voidwoken. Disgusting things. They ravaged the land they touched and infected the air they breathed. They were also an incredible stroke of luck. You see, blaming the sorcerers for Voidwoken made them easier to capture. The Aterra now contains almost all of the source the Seven stole. Soon, we will be able to heal the Veil. The Void shall be banished, and I, Lucian the Divine, shall return from the dead. A false Divine, of course. I shall have no power. But the world will not know this. I shall demand peace. And we shall have it. And if you demand peace, they don't, they don't need your stuff. What you're going to do? Kill everyone? That's a problem. That's a problem. He's a, 
He's this crazy man that thinks that life uh, doesn't work and everything that he thinks is the best thing he can do. I don't like him. The plan is almost complete. And she's totally crazy. She only wants revenge. And <laughs> Brad we have Rex. made so many sacrifices, God woken. All of us, of ourselves and those we love. One last sacrifice is required. For the future of Rivalon, you must surrender your source. Decide. Be the true hero and give up your source, or be forced to submit, like a coward, like a slave. Yeah, I'm going to put something in perspective. If you actually have to fight all of them right now, and they don't have, the, I have my first section, uh, I will be able to wipe all of them in a single turn. Yeah, I'm that powerful right now. <laughs> there is no other way. The source of the world is required to close the veil. We only lack yours. Remember that their plan means there shall not be true divine. Good. You understand. The world shall not know this. I shall return from the grave, a divine without power. Yet all who desire power shall fear me. I shall carry the secret of my lack of divinity. Peace shall reign. With fear. No, no, no. Not the Lucian massacre of the Marston and Students and Academy wasn't really done to aid Alexander. We already had more than enough God woken. Another sacrifice I was forced to make. Those beautiful people. Yeah. I was as kind as I could be. I promise you that. No, you cut their throats and leave all the bodies all over the place. Implore them to stop, you have heard enough lies. Then let us proceed. Show some responsibility. Surrender your source. You'll be a hero. Everyone will know of the sacrifice you'll make. Your name will be synonymous with the survival of Rivalon. Yeah, if you want my soul, you have to take it by force. Try and it will cost your life. I understand. Sacrifice takes courage, but I shall help you. Though it pains me, your sacrifice shall be made for you, Dallas. I'm sorry. You've come such a long way, but there is too much at stake. This is the end. Okay, let's do... A blood rain over here. Rex, I am the Source King. You shall not seal the veil, and I shall not be struck down. I call on the God King. Come claim what is yours. Exactly. How? What? You are unleashed! So you can free him by taking him down his hell. Vredeman cackles in delight at this turn of events. His unbridled glee slithers into your veins and throttles your heart. You left the leashing wand next to me, you stupid maggot. So accustomed had you become to me pretending to be your slave. Kill him! And now don't we are going to do something amazing. Shut up, you buffoon. And don't look so surprised. As if I would allow that bone bag Dallas to enslave me. Me! Confront Dallas, she thought mere magic could contain an evil this tremendous? This is not the time for talk. Kill him now! Too late, you moldering blight stained pigs. Grant me power, my ally. God King, I call on you. Lada Barracus, naive. Naivety. 
The God King will never share rule. The Source King is doomed. You dare interrupt Bracchus Rex? How novel. <laughs> Who are you to challenge the Source King? You tell you that you are the one, the champion of the arena, the greatest warrior the world has ever known. Ha! You are the fetid dirt on my boot. You are nothing at all. I am the Source King. I shall rule. Okay, now we start the second part of the fight. And you're seeing he's fully the healed. The God King hears my call. He sends a companion worthy of my power. Come to your father. Come to the Source King. So the Kraken, remember? The Kraken has a power. And you actually need to kill him super fast. Because yeah, you're seeing he can summon allies. There is his bell. The swallow man. And then. Lord Ken. If you don't kill the Kraken, uh, he will keep uh, summoning them if you kill these ones. Okay, what are you going to do? Okay, he's attacking this one. And the Swallow Man is going to attack who? Airborne Play. Okay, they are not attacking me, so it's okay. It's pretty good. And his bell. What are you going to do? Okay, Lucian is going to start attacking Barkur Rex. And yeah, here comes Dallas. And Dallas is a. Yeah, he's the surprise if you didn't know. He's a dragon. Okay, don't attack me. Yeah, hey, I got tactical retreat and I started attacking another person. Not attack me. Beautiful, yeah, yeah. Attack Barak Rex. You need to kill him super fast so the other guys spawn and they take out the... Why you did that? Tornado on the clean surface. Okay. So we have to put ourselves fortified. Uh, to take out the bleeding. And then let's do a haste. And a clear main. I'm ready. Okay, and then we will go. Uh, yeah. We will go come on cloak and come here, and we will jump just here. And you are going to say, "Why you don't put yourself right there?" You are going to see why. <laughs> okay, and nine my turn. So they keep they keep attacking each other. Yeah, you're seeing the Lucian is attacking Parkour Rex. And actually they do a pretty good job, but yeah, the solo man start getting to the airborne plate, so they get like super debuff. And she has the erotic whip, so she will teleport every time you get hit. And here comes Dallas. Who? Lorcan. Yeah, Lorcan is the most tanky one. He's barely, yeah, this is why you can't teleport there. <laughs> Now you're seen. Okay. And that one is dead. And now he's going to cast the yeah. That's the problem with him. He do 3000 damage. That's why you need to kill Barracus as fast as you can. So the Kraken dies. Or you can kill the Kraken. It depends on you. And your power. The problem of the Kraken is that you don't have like a land spot to hit. So you need to kill with magic or... With other stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah, keep attacking, keep attacking. If, if Lucian is, is alive, uh, Barracus won't run. I think. Oh, he's going to start running. Need to kill him. Okay, Lucian is dead. He's unconscious, but what he lives. Okay, uh, delay your turn. He's trying to debuff the, the lady. 
And Alice is the only one that is standing from them. I need the Kraken to come here. The problem of the Kraken is that you can't know what they are going to do. Okay, he's coming here. Beautiful. That will make I can kill him. Okay, okay, this is pretty good. Yeah, you can continue doing that. I'm super happy that you have decided to do that. And he's going to stay there. Yeah, yeah, they, they, you can follow him through all the, the stuff and you can teleport where he's going to teleport. And we are actually going to do the more stuff. Yeah, and careful with that because if you start like right here, you're seeing that you're going to get hit. Okay, so for the starting, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drink. Remember we have Intelligence Potion plus 11? Yeah, drink it. Drink it. Can you drink it? Thank you. And Wits plus 11. Uh, let me check my Wits. Uh, 90% No, I'm probably not going to need it So let's do an um, Oteosis And let's use a teleporter scroll uh, Where I have them? Right here Let me grab you And throw you over here Okay, and then I will do this yeah, so everyone gets hit. Yeah, the solo man is not a problem, so let's focus on these ones. Okay, the boulder. Okay, Dalis is out. And Linder Kem is all, all going out. And uh, you, the Kraken? Okay, you have way more. So, let me do this to you. Let me put more. I, I need to kill this one. He's a priority. Let's do this. And. Hey, uh, yeah. let's do a skin graph. So we can do another bloodstorm. No, no, I should save the bloodstorm. Let's go here. A thousand. Yeah, let's do this again. And you're dead. <laughs> you're not dead. Okay, let's grab an invisibility potion. And put myself over here. Are they going to do anything? You're bleeding, man. I hope you'll attack me. Because I'm super, super, super weak. Oh, he spawned here. Okay, he's, he's in, summoning more allies. And yeah, we need to be careful with that. Okay, it's my turn, so yeah, this will keep hitting. You're going to die. He didn't die. So let's delay my turn. Yeah, I'm trying not to, to one-shot the Barracu Rex, but I can do it. I can do it if I want to. I'm trying not to do it because obviously I'm it's part of the gameplay. Okay. Uh, delay my turn. Yeah, they will stand there. That's why invisibility potions are so important. Okay, what are you going to do? Come, come here, come here. If you move here... I can do a blood turn over there and take them all out. Yeah, you don't heal him too, for too much. Yep. Yeah, you can do anything. <laughs> okay, let's do an earth clear main and a haste. And let's do another Bloodstorm. Okay. There it goes. Okay, the Kraken is down. So when the Kraken is down, they all disappear. 
And now we have only this guy. Can you come here? Yeah. Let's grab him. With a teleporter scroll. Let's put you uh, right there so we can do a corpse explosion. And let's do a corpse explosion on him. Yeah, he's almost dead. <laughs> so... Hey, you're going to... Yeah, I'm going to use a... Bloody Grasp. And this is done. Lucian struggles to rise. But the weight of his own pain leaves him to gravity's mercy. I promise you that I will kill the Kraken in the last fight. And I always... I always try to do this stuff, I say. Come. My time is done. But you... Your source burns so bright I'm all but blinded by it. Be wise and true, Godwoken. I am no hero, but wisdom and truth. These are values I always believed in. You were in grunts in pain. I have failed. The future of all that is rests on your shoulders. You think back on your journey here, on all that you have seen and done. You think of the Magisters, and the Sorcerers they hunted, and of the good and the evil on both sides. You think of how the Eternals came as Voidwoken to reclaim their stolen world. You look at the Source around you. The power is immense. Divinity at your fingertips. You think of what you could do with such power. The rights you'd wrong, the wars you'd win. You marvel at your journey and how it has changed you. You think of those you left behind, and of those you met along the way, who stood by you or against you. It's time to choose your fate, and the fate of all you hold dear. What shall it be? Shall you be divine? Yeah, take a deep breath, then claim divinity. After all that you have been through, and all that you have done, all that you have become, the Aetiran lies in front of you. Divinity is yours to take. Mm, beautiful. Or to sacrifice. What you do next decides your own fate and the future of the world. What shall you do with divinity? Okay, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. If you fulfill your destiny as a god walking and become a new divine, you will just replace Inclusion. That's all. So you need to keep fighting the body walking, but remember they, they told us the story. The veil is open to feed the gods uh, with swords. So if you do this, you will keep having void walking, you will, you will have a lot of bad stuff. Then you have give the sword back to all people, release divinity into the world. When everyone is divine, no one is divine. And you have the same problem. Because as much as sword exists, there will be fights. There will be evil and good people that will use it for good and evil. And there will be gods that will like the source and want to get fit. That's why our soul Sisa want to attack us because she wants to recover the source so bad. And then you have allow yourself uh, and all the world to be purged of its source. So if we don't have source, we have magic. But we don't have source. And we don't have gods that want to claim it. We don't have void woken. And the bell have been repaired. So I don't know. I think I will pick this one. And more for, for the Red Prince, for me it's important because the Red Prince has baby dragons and right now that's important to reestablish our, our, our uh, how do you call it, our heritage, it's super important and if we have swords we can have people that control and do a lot of, of stuff, necromancy and crazy, but if we just purge the swords they won't have that power, so we will protect our home, so for me this is the, what the Red Prince will pick up. Because the Red Prince also can pick up the, well, this one and take all the power. But the Boy Woken will be a problem at some point. Because the God King will be there waiting. So allow yourself and all the world to be purged of its source.
A tale that began with my own ill-fated attempt to rid the world of the Godwork. Dallas the Hammer, the secret eternal, purged the Godwoken and used the source to close the veil. Exactly. The world was saved. Statues in memory of the Godwoken who sacrificed their source were erected all across Rivenon. They would never be forgotten. Never. That was a big sacrifice, but it was. For her the half demon malady took pity on the soulless Godwoken silent monks and brought them to the Hall of Echoes. There, from the scraps of their souls that remained, she restored them to life. Sorcerers no more, they lived out the rest of their lives, freed of the burden of being the Godwoken. Yeah, so freed we free all the Godwoken. the weight of the world. Exactly. That's the good choice. As for me, the Godwoken's sacrifice severed the link that bound the Sworn to the God King, Finally free. And you were free all the world To atone for my sins, I spent the rest of my days taking care of the sick and elderly, telling the story of the Godwoken, that the world may never forget the greatest heroes Rivalon had ever seen. I told you, that was the good choice. And now we're here. <laughs> yeah, you think it's over? No, no, no. Let's talk to Malady. <laughs> Let's talk to Malady. Let me, let me save. Let me save. Melody, yeah, she, she won't be like, too happy to see us. But yeah, blah, blah. man, I love, I love her. Yeah, her mask, her design. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Yep. Melody stands tall and proud, sunlight sparkling off her mask. From here, she looks almost angelic. Ah, there you are. More than a silent monstrosity, less than a god. <sighs> In the end, I'm not totally convinced it was worth my while to restore your consciousness, seeing what you've done with it so far. Hey, woman, we did a good thing. Where did I go wrong? Say you're sorry if you disappoint her, but you had to do what is right. <laughs> yeah, she hates that. I've been counting on sacrificing my health and happiness for a future god, you know. I'm not a silent monk in waiting. Never mind. I'll find another way. I, I know, woman, that you she will find it. the mask covering her face. For a moment, it seems as though she's about to remove it. But instead, she places a hand on your shoulder. We've come a long way together. I did my best by you all the way. Sacrificed much. And I'd have given even more to see you fulfill your destiny. She looks you up and down. I guess this will have to do. Take a moment, why don't you? Relax. Enjoy. I certainly plan to do the same. Yeah, as the her, as her, the Lady Vengeance looks as good as new. How did she do it? The same way I do everything, of course. Demonic guile. As where she plans to go now? Oh, I don't know. Around and about. Treat myself to some mead, a lover or 300. I'd say we've earned it. Yeah, yeah, go and have fun. Perhaps our paths will cross again. Perhaps not. Until we find out. Probably we're going to. And you're seeing, yeah, we, we have still some skills and stuff. Uh, can I put the spirit vision? Yeah, he, supposedly I shouldn't have this. Supposedly. And I can run here in the boat. You can go downstairs. But yeah, you have the other companions here. There is Beast, there is a Bill. I won't talk to her because we, we didn't interact with them at any point. And let's talk to Laura. Remember that he said that he, he was going to fight and something? <laughs> and he's not here. He, he wasn't in the last one. Well, well. Look who finally graced us with their presence. I suppose some thanks are in order. Hey, shake your head. He doesn't have to thank you for anything. What? No, no. <laughs> you should be thanking me. I just saved the world from the great acorn. Okay, man. Whatever you say. You're welcome, by the way. Honestly. Some creatures have no sense of perspective. Bowen thanked the squirrel for his service. A huge grin slowly spreads across the squirrel's small face. Of course, had you not stopped this god king and his lackeys, there would have been very little left for me to say. Remember, the god king so... just doesn't have his lips anymore. Maybe we close the veil so he can control them. The cat moves forward. 
twisting around your legs and filling the air with the sound of dry, dusty purring. Ah, quackers! Please have a little decorum. Lord and Tazir Laura, they have been through a lot. He should relax. This battle is won, my friend, but we still have a war to fight. We've undone the great acorn, but the Knights of Dre are still out there. They summoned the great acorn once. They will be able to summon it again. We have to destroy their order once and for all. That is the future Quirkus and I have ahead of us. Is neither no thank him. We no longer need a shield. Oh. But we are very happy to have a friend. Okay, you're my friend, man. You can come and pop to my shoulder, whatever you want. Smile and think. You're looking forward to resting for a while. And a well-deserved rest it will be. I never thought I would be proud to have befriended a giant. But there is no one I... Ow! Quackers! <laughs> there is no one that we would rather have walked this world with. I do not know what comes next for you. But you will always have a friend in the forest. Okay, man. Come, Quackers. We must. Oh, he's crying. Oh, I think you have something in your <laughs> eye, my friend. I love this game. The cat curls up and snuggles into his squirrel friend, who quietly sits and sniffs on the deck. No, oh, man, don't be sad. You're okay. Okay, let's take to Tarquin. Yeah, Tar Tarquin was the one that, that summoned Bracur Rex, obviously by force, but he, he warned us. I always thought that those who resorted to self-sacrifice were lacking in imagination. But I must admit, that was rather noble of you. Ask him what he makes of the new state of the world. A world without source is one that will need individuals of wit and intellect. A sharp mind is the only magic now. I believe I shall enjoy this new world okay. very much. What are you going to do now? That is the question, isn't it? How does one top the greatest feat of necromancy ever conceived? I might have the answer to that. Tell me, have you ever heard of Gustafjan? Never. No, of course you wouldn't. It's a written language, unreadable to most, but myself, naturally. It comes from a mysterious race from another world. Beings that feed on minds. I intend to seek them out. This Gustafjan seems to guard portals to their realm. And once I've uncovered one, well, why settle for being the greatest mind in just one world when there's another for the taking? Man, if you want to take the anathema, you can take it. We have Garrett, the yeah, dearest friend. He he was a little bit screwed, but the now he's good. The that once silenced you remains on your mind as you approach Gareth. You are grateful for Malady's miraculous touch. Without it, there would be no you. Amazing, I'm still here. That you're here, and that you might still speak. That Lucian... Say that you thought he would be happy to serve Lucian once more. Thank him for his service to the Seekers, and to all half uh, depend on him. Oh. I only did what I was meant to do. I don't deserve thanks. I gave only the bare minimum, and still I strayed quite far. Gareth shakes his head vigorously in response to his own emotions. Self-pity is as dangerous as any man I have battled, Alexander included. In this new world, this world without the Seven Gods, it's a foe I plan to defeat for good. Wonder what he will do next? I find a way to fit. I wasn't just content to lurk in Lucian's shadow. I was his shadow. Now I stand in the sun as my own man. I just don't know who that man is. And so I find out. My goal is to have a goal. If that makes sense at all. And if it doesn't, well, that's all I've got. Okay. So he's he's happy. And now we have Almira. I mean, where where is the guy? He's probably might just run out after all this craziness. Hello, Almira. No more source. No more powers. Don't worry, darling. I know you have plenty of other qualities. Oh, I know, woman. Remember that you hope she reformed her ways after winning back her freedom. Reform my ways? <laughs> How adorable. No. I'm afraid I cannot escape who I am and what I've done. Her eyes flick down to your mouth. She smiles coyly, then slinks forward to kiss you. Oh yeah, give me. Her mouth meets yours and devours you with predatory abandon. 
Somewhere in the recesses of your mind, you think you hear her voice sigh, mine. But then the kiss ends. Now we are a happy lizard. <laughs> Something to remember me by, darling. Okay, as what's next for her? Hmm. Who knows? A nice cottage, someplace quiet from the Halley and I. A roaring fire and a feather bed. Maybe. Maybe. But a girl needs some fun, doesn't she? Go and destroy the world, woman. If you don't cross the main path, go and do whatever you want. So you have everyone here. I'm not going to talk to anyone. Uh, we knew that Dalis uh, was the daughter of Fane, but I don't think Fane is bad. Fane, Fane, Fane is like a researcher that goes that crazy, and he doesn't care about anything because he is immortal. And that's why he doesn't care. So probably he's super happy of being... Yeah, uh, we saw in an episode that I talked to him when, when I killed him, that he was super happy of being dead. <laughs> So yeah, I'm not going to interact with the other person because we, we didn't have them on, on our journey and I don't want to just to interact with them without knowing the story. You can go and play the game yourselves or if you want me to play the game with another character you know, whatever. or with mods and stuff, you can just tell me in the comments and I will play the game. Yeah, this game is something else. So let's talk to you. It gives me almost as much pleasure to speak to you as it does to be whole again. Remark that it's good to see her, the Lady Vengeance has been a dependable ally. I will always be an ally to those that carry source, to those whose blood is of the heroes of old. And so, as always, I am at the ready. Okay, not silent, it's time to depart. You look out to the endless beyond. The sun's light plays upon the waves, just as it always did. The sails flutter in the wind, just as they always will. And yet, something is different. You are different, and with a start, you realize where you must go next. You speak the command to the Lady Vengeance, and another chapter begins. And here it goes. At last, the world was at peace. Exactly. That was I looking for. As the races united behind Lucian, Arcs remained the center of power. The ancient Lizard Empire opened its gates, the houses disbanded, and the Empire adopted a pluralist quasi-democracy. Anyone could vote for whoever they pleased, as long as the House of Shadows approved. Okay, the House of Shadows have power. Justinia returns to her throne. Under her rule, the Dwarven Kingdom prospered. Until two years later, a jealous lover stabbed her in the heart with a mutton fork. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Poor Justinia. How come? She deserved that. Lucian made amends to the elves. He gave them lands and vast riches from the coffers of the old divine order. But the elves never forgave him. They would not trust humans again. No, no, no. I can't, I can't understand them. It was crazy. Lucian killed them. And in a dark forest on the far side of a desert, well beyond the high seas, the Black Ring came together once more. Oh, I killed I kill all the Black Ring. I don't remember leaving them alive. The island of Fort Joy, the old redoute of the Source King Bracchus Rex, was turned over to the people of Driftwood to use as they wished. They turned it into a holiday resort. <laughs> A uh, good, a good use for the island. So it was beautiful. Reaper's coast prospered. The fisheries returned, and the fertile farmlands produced the greatest harvests the surviving farmers had ever seen. Yeah, you, you remember that was all full of void fish. Blood Moon Island became particularly fecund, its soil producing the greatest crops. A particularly crimson-fleshed orange grown on the island became a delicacy across half the world. I can't imagine the amount of blood and stuff that they were there. Can grow everything. The there. black pit took fire. The oil there burns still. Hmm, it's pretty bad. Driftwood became a center of industry, trade, and transport. Yeah, we remember we kill everyone in Driftwood. <laughs> Loha became mayor, and Brayton Barnes grew rich until, after a public argument over import duties, Barnes died in an accident. In an accident. Buried under several tons of fish, and also stabbed in the back with a gutting knife. Yeah, I can imagine. 
the nameless isle had vanished. Although only open water remained, by instinct, ships would steer clear. None of the captains could articulate why. Yeah, it will be ship, uh, sunken because probably Arx became a great are metropolis, there. famed for its prosperity, its culture, its diversity, and the willingness of its denizens to stab each other in the back for the slightest advantage. Sir Gareth thanked the surviving seekers for their service and gave them their freedom. Disillusioned with peace, he set out alone to find a new purpose. He would never stop seeking. Yeah, he's a seeker, always. Young Han went into the theater and became one of the realm's most popular actors. Oh, that's pretty good, Han. I'm pretty happy for you, all the feathers and chanterelle that you gave me. Almira and Mihaili settled down on the farm. The locals liked and respected Almira. She never wanted for help, and deals always fell to her favor. She presumed she had them in thrall. The truth was, they just liked her. Yeah, yeah, obviously. <laughs> She's super kind. And Malady? With no new divine, Malady found herself in a predicament. She had an important problem to solve, but no ally strong enough to call upon. And so her search continued. Yeah, she was probably looking for someone to fight her demon sire or something like that. Having performed the greatest act of necromancy in history, Tarquin found the new world unchallenging. He became obsessed with rumors of another plane of existence. One day he vanished and was never seen again. I can imagine he was looking for another world. Jahan the demon hunter found himself at a loose end. So he opened a museum of demonic artifacts. Oh, pretty cool. He made a fortune. I can imagine. It was pretty cool. Yeah, he was a demon hunter. With Lucy Sahela. in power, Sahela took the elves away from the world. Okay. They grew strong once more amidst the trees of the regrown home forest. Yeah, yeah, they didn't need Some to. say her plans for revenge will bring about the end of days. Sahela is super crazy. Super crazy. If you do the Sibyl run, you can see it. But it's okay. Some say only Tova, her mother, holds her back. That way it's so important that you save all of them and you don't fight them. I think. Lucian returned as divine, united the races, and became Lord Emperor of all Rivalon. Only Dallas knew that he was entirely powerless. Dallas and you. Remember that he was that was his plan from the start. The Eternal, now known as Dallas, was a secret advisor to Lucian and to his successors. For Eon, she would walk in the world, and would outlive the peoples and all, and wander alone amongst the dying stars. I forgive two of the most greatest murderers in the world to save everyone. And then there was you. You returned to the world as one more kin among many. Your future was yours to decide. Did you accept your new status with humility? Or did you rebel? Oh man, I'm, I'm the father of dragons. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Only you know the truth. These portraits are crazy. I love it. Only you know if you atone for your sins. And there it is. Probably one of the most amazing RPG I have played in my life. I play a lot of RPGs. If you you follow me on my Twitch, if you follow my YouTube channel, I play a lot of RPGs. It's not like I play probably four RPGs per month. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, it's a lot of things. So this game is amazing. For me, one to ten to qualification or give it like any score, probably a nine point eight. Checking out some stuff, you see that uh, I put mods in this run. The, the mods that suggest you the game that is called Gift Packs, I don't use like a lot of them, some of them, and they were more or less okay. We find some bugs, uh, these bugs are not in the original game, you play without mods, without mods because I have played already, but yeah, we found a little bit of, bu of bugs. This game is complicated, you need to do a lot of stuff, you need to actually play a lot of the game, save scum, and do a lot of stuff to actually know it. But it's amazing, it's amazing. It's a game that can give you 100 hours in the first playthrough and probably more and more depending on what you want to do. 
So, people, for me, this game, yeah, I, I don't have anything else to say about it. For me, it's amazing and everything, the music, the art, uh, even the way it works, uh, you, you never see lag, you never see problems or render, you never crash in this 40 hour, I think, uh, we play, never crash. Uh, we, and we don't have like any any technical problems, so yeah, for me it's a probably 9.7, 9.8, probably the best, one of the best RPGs I've played. Uh, thanks for being here. If you like it, don't forget to follow me on my social media and subscribe to the channel. If you have any suggestion of any game, you can leave it in the comments. I will check it out and probably at some point I will bring it. And in the next day that will divinity video, it will it will come with a new game. I hope you like it and have a nice day. Bye bye.
thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and follow me on my social media. See you in the next video. Bye bye.